everyone, it's Lainey and how are you guys doing today? I hope you are having a beautiful day so far. Really, I do. If you are new to my channel, let me start by saying welcome. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. You guys, today I'm going to break down a whole bunch of... Sol de Janeiro products. So if you would like to see that, then just keep watching. I think the madness with Sol de Janeiro products started with this little beauty right here. This is the Brazilian Boom Boom, but most people, if you're like me, like to call it a Bum Bum Cream because that's what it looks like on the packaging. And this little bad boy of body butter isn't cheap. It's a $45 product for this size of container. It is 8.1 ounces. I never in my life thought I would spend $45 on a lotion. And I'm a lotion fanatic, but even I thought I would never do that. But I saw so many people on YouTube talking about this product that I was like, okay. I have to try it. VIB sale rolled around, I think, last year and I decided to finally try this out. If you have never smelled this, you need to go to Sephora and smell it right away. That's what totally won me over. One day I stopped by Sephora, I was like, I've got to smell this. Everybody's talking about it. It smells delicious. It's a pistachio and salted caramel scent. It is so rich, creamy, buttery. It seriously smells like the best dessert you've ever smelled in your entire life. This says it's good for all skin types and it's a fast absorbing body cream that helps tighten and smooth the skin. It also has a little bit of a fleck inside of it, like a glitter. Glitter isn't the right word. There is a bit of sheen inside of this product and it makes your skin look so beautiful. I use this entire container and I honestly don't think the firming part of it the tightening part, I don't think that's realistic. I never saw those results, but did I still think this product was heavenly? Yes, it is such a rich body butter. A little bit goes a very long way. And if you wanna know my little money saving tip, I only used this right when I was out of the shower. When I was still slightly damp, that's when I would slather this on my entire body. And that little bit of moisture that was left on my skin would really help stretch this product so far that this really lasted a very long time because such a little bit went a really long way. This just makes your skin feel so nice. And I am so picky about lotion because I feel like there's so many different lotions, body butters, whatever you wanna call them on the market that you put them on and at first you feel instantly nice and smooth, but then like an hour down the road, your skin feels so much drier because I think there's so much alcohol in a lot of those products. So I'm very picky, but this passed all of my lotion tests. It smells amazing, like so good you want to eat it. It's just such a rich body butter and my skin felt so amazing. I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. A good time to get it is during the VIB sale and I will tell you if you shop from their actual website, which I will link down below and also Sephora, but if you go to the Sol de Janeiro website, sometimes they have really good package deals, gift sets that are cheaper than shopping from Sephora. So there are ways to get this when it's a little bit more cost effective but it is really nice. And sometimes when I try out products, I don't just like go for the product, I have to go all in. So I bought a whole bunch of their products. The next thing I wanna talk about is this baby right here. If you watch Tati, her and her husband are obsessed with this body wash. This is their Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel, and it smells just like the lotion. Oh. <sighs> It smells so good. I feel like, is there some, like, like, did I, it feels like there could be, like, did I, did I miss out on some product? It feels like there's some in there. This comes in at $25. It says it's infused with naturally powerful ingredients from Amazon, including a blend of nourishing kapaku butter. I don't know how to say that. Skin conditioning con coconut oil and the antioxidant superpower of acai. This is such a nice really nice shower gel. It is a bit pricey, $25 again, but such a little bit of this goes a long way if you're using some type of loofah, and that's what I would recommend because you need just a little like dime size amount and it will really lather up and you can use just that for your entire shower. Um, it is so nice. It did not make my skin, 
fin. I don't have fins. I'm a human being. Um, it made my skin feel so soft. I never felt dry after the shower. I loved this. It smells so good. And if you're wanting the scent to really stick around, when you pair these two together, you are getting a really luxurious, full-on bathing in this fragrance. And I feel like the scent stayed on my skin so much longer using both of these. The shower gel, so good. So, so good. Sometimes you can get these in gift sets. And if you want to gift a really luxurious and fantastic smelling product to someone, this combination will be a great gift. A pricey gift, but a great gift. This is so amazing. Like, I have switched over to Soap and Glory because I wanted to try out their lotion in the shower gel. I don't know what it is exactly called off the top of my head, if you know what I'm talking about. But I will most likely be coming back to this because it is so good. It smells like you just want to drink it, really. So this body spray is the same exact scent as the last two products. It is that pistachio and salted caramel scent. I've never smelled anything like it before, and trust me, I've tried after this. Mmm, you smell like dessert. Someone might try, try to come up and take a bite out of you when you're wearing all of these. Um, definitely, if you are obsessed with the fragrance like I am and you want to make sure you're going to smell like it all day, pairing the three together is the way to do it. This one comes in at full size of, let's see, 3.04 ounces in, oh, no, excuse me. The full size is 8.1 fluid ounces, $32, so not cheap. They did come out with a more travel size or small size. I don't know if travel is the right word. It is $3.04, $19. I would actually recommend that one because here's the thing with this one. It smells so good, but it's not my favorite product. I'm just going to be real with you guys. Loving the scent, this isn't my favorite product. The reason it's not my favorite is because it does smell, it's got that same scent that I love, but this one has a much more alcohol base. Like, when you, have you ever sprayed a perfume that has a lot of alcohol in it and you really pick up that alcohol vibe for a while and then it kind of airs away and then you smell the fragrance? That's how this is and I don't love that. Like it really takes a while for that alcohol scent to dissipate, but it does, one, once it does dissipate, it smells so good, but it's not long lasting. I wish they would come out with a true perfume of this scent because I feel like perfume really lasts a long time where body splash is kind of that instant gratification. You get it for a little bit, but eight hours down your day, you don't smell like it anymore. Now, like I said, layering the three together gives you that better odds of the scent lasting all day, but this definitely wears off pretty fast. It smells good and it lasts a long time. Like I had used this so much during the summer, like all day, every day. It was my go-to and I still have a really good amount left. It's just not my favorite because it is a body splash. I wish this was a perfume and I wish the scent stayed around longer. It was a little bit stronger of the true fragrance of this spray. So if there was something so far that I could say you could really live without, it would definitely be this one or try the smaller size to save some money to see what you think first. Love the scent, but not my favorite product. Next up, we have the Samba Fetish, the Samba Foot Fetish Cream, $27, and it's a three ounce product. It also comes with a filing board that looks like a surfboard, which is super cute. It won't let me zoom, but that's it there. Um, so the package itself is really cute. I was hoping this would have the same scent. It does not, sadly. It is a really nice, luxurious foot cream, and it's one that absorbs very quickly. It's not one of those where you put it on, you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and you forget you have something on your feet, and you almost like fall on your face because your feet are so slick. It's not like that. It does a very good job, but for $27, I wasn't blown away. Like, I feel like I've used other lotions and creams on my feet that have done a very similar job. For less money. Um, if you are really, really struggling with dry feet, this is definitely something worth giving a try. It's just not my most favorite foot product out there. I just 
I don't see myself purchasing a $27 foot cream very often. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. It doesn't mean this isn't a good product, it's just not something I think I would repurchase. Have you guys used this? If you have, did you like it? Do you have any other favorite foot creams? If you do, please leave them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Last product I bought because I went crazy and like bought them all. The only one I didn't buy was the, like, the products that help you grow less body hair. <laughs> didn't speak to me. Didn't feel like I needed to use that. Uh, I, I, I'm not like afraid of having arm hairs. I know some people don't like that, but <laughs> for me that wasn't something I was concerned with on myself, so I didn't get that one, but I did try out this Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. You guys, I did like 45 circles around Sephora before deciding to buy this because this is an $18 lip balm. Yes, I, I stooped that low and I spent $18 on the chapstick. I did, okay? Don't judge me. Um, I seriously, I looped around and around like, do should I get this? Should I spend $18 on a lip balm? Should I do it? Should And then I decided I'm going to do it. This lip balm says it's infused with the same, I know I'm not saying this stuff right, Kapaku acai and coconut oil leaving them soft with a dewy sheen that intensifies your natural lip color no parabens which i love it is a really nice lip butter and it's a fat chapstick which i love the chubby chapsticks they're some of my favorite and it is so so hydrating i mean it does give your hands the most beautiful your hands I put it on my hand to swatch it for you guys. You use it on your lips. It gives your lips the most beautiful sheen without looking like you're wearing a gloss or look like you're wearing a lipstick. It is, there's no color to it. And the scent smells amazing. I don't know if it says on here. It's not the same scent, but there is something to it that is similar. I think it's because it's also got that kind of sweet dessert-like fragrance. Similar to those, but not exactly the same. And it did make my lips feel so nice, but I will tell you guys, this is a little deceiving. I don't feel like there was a lot of product in here, which I can't show you now, but when I rolled it up, I feel like it was only about that deep with product. And for $18, I was kind of expecting it to be like, you know, the entire tube almost of chapstick. For $18, I'm not going to buy it again. There are so many good chapsticks out there. I'm a chapstick fanatic. There are so many good ones out there that this is not something I would purchase again. I just don't feel like it was worth the money. If budget isn't a concern for you, a very nice chapstick. And if you love the Sol de Janeiro brand, an excellent chapstick. But for me, eh, for $18, I'm not going to buy it again. It does feel nice though. I put it on my hand and my hand feels very hydrated, especially right now when it is so dry out. I would do backflips for these two products. I mean, these to me are like out of the park, amazing products. Like if you want nice, supple, hydrated skin that smells delicious, this is it. The other ones are more like, if you're not worried about budget and you wanna try something new out, go for it. But these two are definitely standout products for me that I would 100% repurchase. If you guys have tried any out let me know in the comments below I would love to hear your thoughts if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe I would love 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 for you to be a part of my lash family really I would make sure you follow me on Instagram Twitter and snapchat all three places because I love getting to chat with you guys and as always please try to stay positive because at the end of the day that is truly all we can try to do thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day